Most facilities require power in order to operate. To get power, we need to build a power generator. If we come to the uh, build menu by pressing B and go to the power category, we can see that there is two types of power generation. There is the diesel power plant that is available early and there is the power station. And that, as we can see, requires tech and will be available later on in the war. To build a diesel power plant, we can see that we need a construction vehicle and 150 basic materials or BMATs. Once it is built, it will produce five megawatts every 45 seconds at the cost of 25 liters of diesel. To build a diesel generator, we come to our construction vehicle that has the necessary basic materials in its inventory. We press Q to hop in on the operator side that is indicated by the CV icon in the top left. We press B to open the build menu, go to the power category, select the diesel power plant. When we do that, we get the blueprint of the diesel power plant underneath our mouse cursor. We can see that on the left side of the building is an arrow pointing inwards. This is the inlet for fuel that can be diesel or if you upgrade the diesel power station to a petrol power station, an inlet for petrol. On the right side of the building, we can see the power connection, which is used to connect the wires to our power grid. So if we're happy with the orientation and location of our diesel power plant, we left click. This will put down the blueprint. We drive up to it with our CV, hold down the left mouse button to start building the diesel generator. When we finish building the diesel power station, if we come up to it and press E to open the menu, we can see on the left side, we have the inventory. In the middle, we can see the production panel, which shows which recipes are available in the diesel power plant. Right now, the only recipe that is available is the recipe to turn diesel into five megawatts of power over for 45 seconds. In the middle also is the actions panel. The right side we have the status panel which shows us how much power we are generating and how much power is being used. It also shows how much diesel is currently in the diesel power plant and there is the upgrade panel which shows us that we can upgrade it to a petrol power plant. There are different ways of fueling our diesel power plant. One of it is to do it by hand. For that, we need a jerry can of diesel into our third equipment slot. We press three to equip it. We right click to aim at the diesel power plant and then hold down the left mouse button to start refueling it. We can see that we are refueling it and that the maximum amount of diesel it can hold is a thousand. And as soon as we start fueling it, it will start working. Now to prevent using diesel while we aren't even using any power in the network, we can press E to open the menu and we can click on the switch in the recipe for diesel to power and this will turn off the diesel power plant. Another way of refueling our diesel power plant is with the help of a fuel truck. So if we have diesel in our fuel truck, we come to the diesel power plant, press E to open the menu and in the status panel where the diesel bar is, there is a button to start refueling from a nearby source. That is the fuel truck and we can see that if we click that button, it throws out a hose and starts fueling the diesel. If we want to stop fueling the diesel power plant from the fuel truck, we can come to the actions panel and hit the cancel refueling and this will remove the hose and will stop the refueling. The third way of providing diesel to our diesel power plant is bringing a static liquid container on a flatbed truck that contains diesel. Make sure that you have a crane. Press Q to hop into the crane and make sure you're in the operator seat. That is indicated by the crane icon in the top left. Then a hold right click to aim the crane at the static liquid container. If you see the connection icon, the two overlapping gears, you can left click and it will start hoisting up the static liquid container. Now we want to place our static liquid container close to our diesel power plant. 
For that we aim next to the diesel power plant until we see the crosshair icon. If we see the crosshair icon, that means we can uh, drop the container at that specific point. We can press the A and D key to change the orientation of the object that is attached to the hook of our crane. This way we can orient our static liquid container alongside the diesel power plant. We then press Q and hop out of the crane, walk up to our static liquid container and press E to unpackage the static liquid container. We come to the diesel power plant, we press E to open the menu of the diesel power plant. And in the status menu on the right side, we click on the refuel button in the diesel panel. This will pull out a hose from the static liquid container to our diesel power plant and start refueling the diesel power plant with diesel. Yet another way to refuel our diesel power plant is with the help of a liquid transfer station that has a diesel in it. To do that, we connect a pipeline between the outlet of the liquid transfer station and the inlet of the diesel power plant. Make sure you have a pipe over your shoulder, press B to open the build menu, go to the facilities category and in the facilities category, uh, left click on the pipeline icon, hover your blueprint close to the outlet point of the liquid transfer station, then a uh, left click, this will connect your pipe blueprint to the outlet of the liquid transfer station. Then aim your end of your pipeline to the inlet of the diesel power plant. And if that connects, you can uh, left click. This will place the blueprint. You walk up to the blueprint and a uh, left click. This will submit the pipe to the blueprint. And when the pipe is connected to the diesel power plant. If we open the diesel power plant by pressing E, we can see in the status panel in the diesel row that diesel is currently being refueled from the liquid transfer station. To get the power from our diesel power plant to the facility that needs power, we need to have power cables that connect to the power cables will connect on the diesel power plant at this point, that is the power connection point. And on this facility, we can see that it is above the door. Power cables cannot glitch through buildings. So we have to go around the building to connect it to. And the only way to do that is with the use of power poles, since we cannot connect building to building wires can only be drawn from a power pole to another power pole or from a power pole to a facility. To build a power pole, we press B to open the build menu. We come to the power category and select the power pole. We can see that we need 20 B mats to make it. Once we click it, we get the blueprint underneath our mouse cursor and we can use the right mouse button to rotate the power pole. If we're happy with the orientation and the location of the power pole. We left click, walk up to the blueprint and start hammering in BMATs. To draw a power cable, we press B to open the build menu and come to the power category. We select the power line. And with the power line selected, we get a blueprint underneath our mouse cursor. We aim at the power pole. We can see that that snaps the power line to it. If we now click, it will start drawing the power line from the power pole. And if we connect it to our diesel power plant and we click to confirm, we can see that we are now drawing a power line between the diesel power plant and the power pole. If we try to do the same thing with the facility over here, so we select the power line, aim it at the power pole and try to connect it to the facility, we cannot and that is because the wire cannot glitch through the building. So we need an extra power pole to make the circuit complete. So we come to the side over here, make sure that a power line can come like this. So it needs to be roughly on this line. Put down a power pole, walk up to it, hammer in the basic materials. And when the power pole is done, we press B to open the build menu again, select a power line, 
put it on the power pole to the other power pole and bring another power line from the power pole to the facility. Now that the circle is complete, we can come to the diesel power plant, press E to open it up and start production again. So we click the switch next to the diesel icon and we can see that it is starting the recipe again and we are producing a five megawatts of power and using zero. That is because the facility right now is turned off as well. So if we come to the facility, press E to open it up and select one of the recipes. Both require five megawatts. If we turn the switch, we can see in the status bar that we have five megawatts in the network and we are using five megawatts of power. Turning off a facility's recipe will not turn off the generator. So if we come to this facility, press E to open it and press the switch of this recipe. So we're not using any power anymore. Our diesel generator is still working because we need to turn the diesel power plant off. Click the switch and this will turn off the diesel power plant. To disconnect a facility from the power network, we come to the facility, press E to open it up. And in the actions panel in the bottom, there is a button that says disconnect all and this will disconnect all power lines that are attached to this structure. So now that we clicked it, we can see that that power line is gone. We can do the same thing with a power pole. We can come to a power pole, press E to open its menu and in the actions panel, click the disconnect all and this will remove both wires. A power pole can have a maximum of a four power line connection. So we can connect this power pole to that power pole by selecting the power line and hanging a power line between the two power poles. If we now try to use the power line and attach it to the power pole, we can see that it doesn't snap to it. And that is because it already has four connections and we can only start a power line from this power pole over here. One thing to take into account with your power networks is that if you provide more than 25 megawatts of power, that the network can only accommodate 25 megawatts of power. So if we're here, we are producing 10 megawatts with our power station. We are producing on the same network uh, five megawatts with our diesel power plant and with a disc power plant over here that has the petrol upgrade. We are currently producing 12 megawatts. That is 10 plus five is 15 plus 12 is 27 megawatts. But as we can see, we are only having 25 megawatts in our network. The way to go around this is by disconnecting one of the power stations from the network and putting it on a separate network. So if we separate the networks, we can have a network that produces a 22 megawatts with the power station at 10 megawatts and this diesel power station with 12 megawatts on the petrol and we can have a separate one that produces five megawatts with the diesel power plant. We can upgrade a diesel power plant so it uses petrol, which will be more efficient and will deliver more power. So if we come to the diesel power plant and press E to open its menu, if we come to the right side into the upgrades menu, we can hover over the petrol power plant upgrade and we can see that if we build it, we will use 50 liters of petrol every one minute and 30 seconds to produce 12 megawatts. And the cost of the petrol power plant upgrade is 100 construction materials. So to upgrade it, we make sure that we have 100 construction materials in the inventory of the diesel power plant. And then we click the upgrade button and we can see that we start modifying the structure when we are done, the outside of the facility changes as well. And if we press E to open the menu of our diesel power plant, we can see that in the production panel, we have two recipes now. So we can still use our diesel power 
to refuel the power station with petrol. We can do that by hand with a jerry can of petrol. We can use a, a fuel truck to refuel it through the menu here, or we can do the same thing with a, a static liquid container that is placed near the building with petrol in it. Another way of doing it is with the use of a pipe system. We have the pipe equipped. We press a B to open the build menu. We come to the facility tab and we select the pipeline. We connect one side of the pipeline to the oil refinery and we then drag out the pipeline to attach to the power plant. We left click, this will place down the blueprint, a left click to submit the pipe to the blueprint and this will finalize the pipeline. So while the oil refinery is working, it will over time start filling up our diesel power plant with petrol. We can see that the oil refinery just finished its recipe and it is now slowly filling our petrol stockpile in the diesel power plant. We can also attach lamps to power poles. For that, we need construction materials and we come up to the power pole, press E to open its menu. And in the upgrades panel, we can see that there is a button for a lamp and that it will cost us five construction materials. If we click on it, we will start modifying the structure. This will put a lamp on the power pole and we can see we have a lamp here. As you can see, even though it is night, there is no light coming from the lamp, but that is because currently there is no power going through this power pole. We can see that by pressing E to open the menu and we can see that in the status bar, there are there is no power right now. So we can turn on the diesel generator. And now that there is power going through the wires, we can see that the lamp is actually giving off light.